to go to Disney World. Okay guys, so these are the clothes that we're packing for Disney. Of course, all Disney themed. I'm taking a sweatshirt because it's actually going to be pretty cold on our trip. And I have this one, which I love. It is, you know, from Frozen. And says so some people are worth melting for. I also have the next one, which is from Up, which is one of our all time favorite movies. Um, and then I have my Wally shirt. Now the Wally shirt, I will actually probably wear on the way down on an, um, our trip because we're going to drive halfway down and then we'll go the rest of the way the next day. And this one is Haunted Mansion. Now I wanted to let you guys know that I wanted to show you guys where these came from. Uh, that one was from Target. A lot of them are straight from Disney, but Target has a great selection. Um, but while I was going through these, later on we had to adjust the clothes that we were packing because it's going to be so cold. The high on one of the days is 60 and the low is 40. And it's going to stay around that area, like 64, 44, between there. So we're packing a lot more sweatshirts. This is Rex's stack. That's the shirt that he is traveling down with from Old Navy. Old Navy had a great selection of Disney shirts. Um, this is probably going to be the shirt that he wears on his first day at Magic Kingdom. And then they kind of get a little messy. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through all of our clothes and show you guys some awesome stuff and um, you don't have to have like matching matching shirts but I mean if you're going to Disney why not wear Disney shirts so yeah we have a good portion of our wardrobe is just straight Disney clothes got this Mickey hoodie for Rex because it is going to be so cold I'm um, also going to take a little blanket for him because he loves his blanket um that is his indiana jones shirt and that is one that we actually bought this one it was bought um at hollywood studios he loves watching the indiana jones show and if you guys have not seen that please go check it out it is awesome and rex has been in love with it forever he's a huge star wars fan so we got him some star wars shirts these i want to say that one also came from old navy and then a tori story sweatshirt because guys i cannot believe like it's been 80 in orlando and it's gonna be 80 after we leave and then boom the time we're going is gonna be super cold these are my husband's clothes that he's taking of course lost boys from peter pan um he has his mickey shirt um i think he's actually gonna have a couple of mickey shirts that we pack star wars we all are big fans of star wars even though the boys actually have never seen the movies it's just me so <laughs> then lion king love lion king and he actually got this one at our hotel the last time we came to disney because hey that's the best time to get some disney shirts it's expensive but man they're awesome and his other mickey shirt which i love this one because mickey's reversed on the back <laughs> So I pretty much shoved all the clothes into suitcases and drug them into the living room to kind of sort and go through. Right now, I'm going through Rex's costumes that he wants to pack. I believe the age limit is 14, but kids under 14 can wear costumes with masks. And Rex loves to dress up as Darth Vader and Stormtroopers. So he will likely be wearing this when we go to Hollywood Studios. This is the big suitcase that has most of our stuff in it, like my mini ears and some new purses that I've gotten for Christmas that are going to be awesome around the parks. Backpack purses are great. Now, remember, anything that you take into the park has to be searched through, so all the bags, fanny pack, cooler, all of that. <laughs> this is bag number two out of three that I'm taking. Uh, the first one that you saw was from Up. This one is from Haunted Mansion. And then I have a third that I've actually been using as my regular purse um, day to day, and it is Beauty and the Beast. So this is Rex's new hat that he got. He likes to have a nice hat like that for the Dapper Dans so he can go see them. His new Mickey hat, he got both of these at Old Navy. And then we actually found this Mickey Mouse neck pillow and thought he would love it for the trip down. And we actually found that at the dollar store at Dollar General. Hi Rex. Hi. How old are you? 
for those hills. Where are you going next week? Nancy World. What are we going to do the very first thing we get there? Help Buzz. Help Buzz? Are we going to go see Indiana Jones? No. Are you friends with Indiana Jones? No. no. I think you're friends with Indiana Jones. Um, here's how I know you're friends. What's this? Indiana Jones glove. Indiana Jones glove. Uh, who gave you that glove? Indiana Jones. Hmm. And is this Indiana Jones hat? And that's your Indiana Jones hat. No, no, it's like the, the wheel. That says, yeah. Uh, it's it, 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 the real one from Indiana Jones. Well, this is the one we bought. He tried to give you his real hat, and you told him that you already had one. Yeah. Don't, yeah. But he gave you his gloves, didn't he? Yeah, because I wanted the one really yeah. bad. Yeah, you did want gloves really bad. He didn't even know that. But, yeah, Indiana Jones is one of your best friends. Are you going to go see a show? No, probably. Yes. No. Yay. No. no. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Disney. <laughs> so we always pack a stroller fan, even though it's supposed to be cool, you never know in Florida. So a fan that hooks onto the stroller, I'm also gonna take the charger that goes with it, also very important to pack, as well as all of your phone chargers and all those last minute things. I actually have a list of all the last minute things we need to grab. You know, toothbrushes, toothpaste, combs, more brushes, and sunscreen and deodorant, just all those toiletries that you might forget last minute. There's a couple of things we need to go buy. We need to buy Rex a new rain jacket because he has outgrown his. And I need to buy a new phone case because mine is very badly broken. And um, I definitely want a phone case on my phone because it will fall out of my pocket at Disney with all the moving around. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm also packing some Lysol to go. A little Lysol disinfectant. Little packs of Kleenexes. Always going to have baby wipes. Always have baby wipes on hand. This is our bag that we're gonna fill all of our snacks in. This is our bag that goes in the stroller. We're gonna put his autograph book in the front so we can get to it easily. But this is the cooler section. Um, we'll put a little ice pack in there and that's where we'll keep our food. Uh, this is probably for the bathroom. We might need a bigger one. Um, Other than that, it's all closed now, except my fanny pack. Fanny packs at Disney are wonderful to have and I got this for Christmas, goes with my up bag. Um, and I figured it would be easier to have this to hold all of our cards instead of um, me keeping track of my huge wallet or my husband keeping track of his big thick wallet. So we'll see how this works. This might work out better. And of course, our magic band. And these are some things that we're gonna pack. So um, we got some little packs of goldfish, fruit bars, cheese crackers, raisins, pretzels, and of course, some fruit and veggie pouches. I'm also going to take this and maybe a couple other things of like Tupperware because if you put some of this just in the bag as it is, it's gonna get all crushed up. So put in something hard, that's a good tip. You don't want messy crackers at the bottom of your bag, trust me. And I'm going to put it in our big bag of snacks. Um, I think we got the, I think we ordered this from Disney's website, so I'm not sure if it's still available there or not. Go ahead and pack it these. So Rex has lots and lots of fruit options. Um, now a lot of the things that are in this box up here, like these are power ups. These were bought for the last trip and didn't get used. Still good, might pack those. Um, or cherry granola bars and some breakfast biscuits. Definitely gonna put these. I love these things. And let's see, there are five in here. We're going for about four days. Perfect. Go ahead and get that packed. You're gonna want to have some snacks up front with you. 
It's about 10 and a half hours in the car from Kentucky to Florida. So um, we will have some of these snacks in a little basket up front with me. So James will drive and I will distribute snacks as needed. I always pack extras. It rains in Florida a lot. We're actually packing extra tennis shoes. Um, I still recommend that if your shoes get wet to use the blow dryer in the hotel room to dry them. Um, that's what we did last time when we didn't pack extras, but I'm still going to do that so that they're not just so cold and um, damp the next day. But yeah, pack extra tennis shoes, extra socks, and thick socks. You don't want like thin dress socks um, between it possibly raining and you being so hot and sweaty extra clothes. Um, I always keep extra clothes for Rex in my fanny pack because he is so little I can just roll up his clothes and put them in my fanny pack but since I'm taking my um, big backpack purses this time I'm gonna have a lot more space to put things. Um, now if you do have bags when you go to Disney they will check them every single bag. So and I will try to show you guys this whenever we get to Disney. I'll try to do some videos while we're there. I might get preoccupied with all the fun magic, so sorry about that. Um, have all of your bags unzipped ready to be looked at. I'll go ahead and take off my fanny pack, have the zippers undone, the cooler bag open, backpack purse open, every compartment open. If you have extra bags in your bags, like, um, I don't know, some people have like change purses and other things inside their bags, have them out and open too or get clear Ziploc bags. If they're clear, they can just look at them without having to unzip and look through them. So just some tips to kind of get through that process faster and easier. Now I'm back to sorting all these clothes and getting them organized and packed and ready to go. So since it's going to be so cold on this Disney trip, I'm packing um, a long sleeve shirt. This is for the Chiefs, um, but it's long sleeve, so I can wear it in, under any of my Disney shirts. But I also decided to pack this cardigan, um, which I definitely typically don't wear cardigans when I'm at Disney. But this way I can still wear my Disney t-shirts and have long sleeves on and I actually think it'd be pretty cute. So while I was going through the clothes, I actually was trying to put them in order of what I was going to wear on what days. And that just really slowed me down and eventually I just redo everything all over again. And I just make sure I have enough shirts for all of the days, a few extras, enough pants for everybody. And that's really what you gotta do. Do not overcomplicate packing. So I thought I would include this as a good tip as well. Um, so I have the stroller out and I'm showing my husband how to break down the stroller and to load it back up because I typically do it, which is no problem, but getting in and out of the trams, you have to be quick with that stroller. And sometimes it's kind of hard and difficult to do. So he said he would take care of that for me. So here are some of our suitcases. Here are the rest and our rain jackets and everything that needs to go in the car. It's pretty much all packed. This particular bag is for our first hotel because we're going to stop halfway down and spend the night at a hotel. So this is just pajamas for that night and clothes for the next day. 
wanted to also show you our Mickey duffel bag, which we normally use for the hotel overnight thing, but it wasn't big enough. This is Rex's Mickey Mouse suitcase, which always has his EpiPens in it, so we always know where they are, and they're always on vacation with us. And that has his stuff in it, like the stroller fan and his costumes and baby wipes. Always have baby wipes. I'm also packing this for Rex for in the car. It is the Crayola magic markers, the mess free markers, so he can color and it won't get anywhere. Here is our snack bag. It's mainly Rex's snacks, but we have a few in there as well. As well as this is going up front with me. Some donuts, some food for Rex. I also have some almonds. And this will sit up front with me in the floorboard so I can get to some snacks easy. We also got some Nutter Butters and little Teddy Grahams. So nice little snacks to have in the car. In the cooler, we have his fruit, we have juice and water, and we'll fill this up with ice before we leave. So excuse the mess around it, but this is it. We are all packed up and ready for Disney.